Hey guys, it's Storyline here, and I'm going for our new achievement today, and I'm going for the achievement Like a Fine Wine. Um, basically, to talk about Like a Fine Wine achievement, it is to complete Lasso on Combat Evolve. Um, little tidbit before I get into what Lasso is: um, if you're going for this achievement, make sure you go to the playlist. If you don't go to the playlist, um, it will bug out, and or it won't even bug out; it just will not count. For whatever reason they have it set up like that don't ask me but make sure you go to the playlist for that specific game if you want the achievement um lasso is legendary all skulls on these skulls will make the game a bit more difficult and every game has different achievement and different skulls so it's, it's quite a hard i tell you what okay so here we are first mission pillar autumn we're just going to come here talk to him get cortana and leave once you get that checkpoint, it's all good. You can do whatever you want. Um, to talk about a few things, uh, the one of the skulls that are on is the Iron Skull. The Iron Skull basically states that if you're if you die while you're playing solo, you will start from the beginning of the mission. Co-op. If any player dies, you will go to your latest checkpoint. So basically, you gotta be careful and not try to die. But within, um, if you're playing solo, there's a nice technique. If you die, if you hit start, save or quit, and come back, it will reload you at your checkpoint. Um, once you get in here, the best way to take care of these enemies is going for the grunts. Why you should go to grunt, go for the grunts is that right there. There's a skull on that's called the grunt funeral skull. Basically, this skull. Hold on, let me go up to this guy. This skull. Okay, he's dead. This skull basically goes through and makes it where when a Grunt dies, doesn't matter if he's already dead, when he a dead if there's a dead body of a grunt, it would explode like a plasma grenade. This is uh, actually really dangerous, and even more dangerous because another skull that is on is the boom skull. Basically to describe the boom skull is it doubles the explosion radius of any explosive. Even grunts. Hopefully that will kill that elite. Yeah. You see he even killed that elite easy. Uh, he does not want me to get close to him. Another skull on, if you haven't noticed, is okay. Save and quit. This is how you do it. You hit save and quit. Takes you to the main main menu. Just go in and click resume, and that will start up the playlist again. Probably gonna die here, so I probably should shut up. Yep. I guess it's clear, so we're gonna move on ahead. Medkits will take your, bring your shield back as well, so. Just be careful to pick up medkits when you need to. I try to execute that guy and I failed hard. But this is but to talk about this right here. Um one of the skulls that are on is black eye. When you melee an enemy, that's how you get your shield back from now on. While you have that skull on. So the best way to deal with a solo elite is basically to rush him and just keep meleeing him. Typically, they will try to melee you as possible. Once you get to this spot, the best way to deal with these pods is throw some grenade or kill that first grunt and everything should die. When you do that, you should just wait back here for a while because um, the grunts will be exploding for a while. I'm going to say that's about all of them. Um, pick up ammo and everything as you see it. So now we're going to go and pick up one of these overshields. It's always nice to have an overshield on. Another... Um, all that's on y'all probably think I'm just terrible at this game because my aim's actually terrible, but that's not the full case. The hold up. so you can't shoot through his legs. I didn't know that. I'm stuck, so I am dead. Just going to save and quit because that is actual terrible. Quick. Oh, he don't turn around. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Bam. Let's go. Let's go. So, yeah, the eye patch skull is on. My aim is not just straight doo doo, I could tell you that. Basically, what it does is it disables your auto aim. And since I'm playing console, and auto aim is pretty important for console, unless you never play with auto aim, it is like. It's something hard. It just makes the game super annoying to play. It doesn't make the game itself hard, it just makes it. Everything else sucks. Right there, you should just go for the grunt. That should kill everything. And just stay back and let all of them just explode for a while. 
Um, another skull on is fog. Fog disables your radar. Both of them got chat. Yep, they're all dead. Fog's on it disables your radar, so no radar. Mm, not a big scenario or anything. I did get one, so I'm gonna just run back and hopefully they kill each other. I think they all kill each other. There's a grunt there, so I'm not gonna rush. Um, next skull is famine. Famine basically, um, it's not as big as in this game as other games were last so, but famine basically makes it when an AI drops a weapon, only drops half the ammo. Okay, so just, you just got, when you come to this spot, be wary, there's gonna be some grunts there, like, to, there, every time I came through here on Lasso, there's always grunts there. Hmm, that grunt might have flew over there and killed some, but, I don't know. Oh, he did, wow, that is some luck. He flew the other run over there. So, chain reactions, that's the best way to get through these levels. This as Pillar Autumn, most of it, you don't see no jackals, you just only see the grunts and elites, so. It would be easy to just get through that way. Just using them to kill each other. I miss all my shots like a loser. Don't worry. But basically, go for a grunt here. I die. Okay, hopefully, I hit a grunt. Perfect. Hopefully he kills elites and everything. Yep, the chain reaction's gone. So I'm just gonna sit back, let them kill each other. And I guess I could talk about next wall. Um, you probably noticed I have no plasma grenades or anything. The skull that on there's a skull that's called Forn. Um Forn basically makes it that cut you can't pick up any non human weapons basically, what it translates into. So you only could have Oh no, I did not know he was alive. You only can pick up human weapons, basically. Hmm, this is gonna be quite annoying to try and deal with this guy. I missed my melee. Oh, all these drop pad pods, pads, whatever these things, drop chips, I don't know, have overshield in them, so when you get to this spot, pick up an overshield, just cause. Next skull is malfunction. You don't see it as much since you're using the iron uh, iron skull method but when you restart um you're gonna be missing a piece of your hut hud random piece it could be your reticle health grenades i might be dead here yeah okay so that's one of the best ways to deal with uh this area go for the grunts and hopefully they kill the elites for you pick up a med kit it's just helpful if you can't pick it up, don't pick it up. Um, mount function takes a piece away your reticle. Actually, hold up. This spot, um, it was hard when I was a kid trying to go through this. I didn't know there was a nice, uh, cheap method for this. Just run through it. Hey, that might kill me. 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 Try to rush. I'm gonna try to rush and melee him. Hopefully, he does not hit me. Yes. Stop shooting me. Okay, there we go. There we go. Let's go. Okay, so that part, I hate that part personally. I don't know, they act stupid at times like that. But you get a health kit right after. No pistol ammo? Okay, that's great. I thought they gives you pistol ammo there, but I guess it doesn't. Now I got pistol ammo. I really don't want to waste it on these kids, but uh, don't tell me I'm gonna die because of these kids. Hopefully that kills all of them, because I wasted too much ammo. Yeah. Kill, that's going to kill them all. Okay, so the skull I was talking about before all things hit the pan is the mount function skull. Mount function skull um, takes a piece away your HUD. Could be your uh, radical health, grenades. So just if you're missing something, don't freak out. It's most likely just the mount function skull then. 
Oh god. Oh god. There's two guys now. I'm gonna try to lure just one out here. Hit him twice. Now this is a bad scenario. Okay, I killed him. So it worked out. Lure him out. Best you can. Yeah, sometimes you get stuck here with two leads because one will run back. Then there's always one at the end of this hall. Sometimes they would just do that, hit you, run away, and try to shoot you, for whatever reason. But sometimes you get them in loops like that, and you could just keep punching. Sometimes they won't punch at all. Sometimes they would just do this. And just keep backing up. Okay, so I end up getting him there, which is quite good. Um, Next skull to talk about is Mythic. You probably be wondering why... They it takes forever to kill these enemies. Um, they have double health. Mythic does. That. These events, there's gonna be a grunt in there and a grunt body around the corner. So, kill him. Run back. Let him explode. Sit here. Just let everything calm down for a second. Once you get in here, you immediately want to turn left, cause that will happen. And that could easily kill you. Um, I address this part a lot of different ways. But this time, since I have like no health, oh, actually, I hear a grenade that way. I typically run right. And hopefully, the Marines don't end up killing me. Because they're stupid like that and will end up killing you. Hopefully that kills everything, because I have nothing health-wise. Health pack right there, by the way. Hopefully that kills all those grunts down there. I'll just move back and let that happen. See if these guys drop the ammo. They drop salt rifle ammo. So, it's always go good to go back and check. Last of all, I still haven't talked about is recession. Recession basically makes it ammo is terrible. Every time you shoot one bullet, it counts as two bullets basically. What it translates down to. Those elites might die, but this grunt's going to get on my nerves. I think. I don't know where he went. So I'm gonna just shoot him, let him blow up. Is that a, I'm gonna say that's elite body because it still has not exploded. Sometimes there will be a grunt down there. There's a leap down here still, somehow. Don't know why he's down here. I have no ammo. I only got that many bullets left. I'm gonna rush this kid. He runs away sometimes, so what I learned. They like to run away at times. For no reason. I still haven't figured out why they run away at times, and sometimes they don't. But here we are at the ending. Best way to address this, pick up the grenades, throw a grenade down there, and just run away. Just let them all kill each other. And you should be good. This is the end of mission. Um, I guess I'll explain the story while we're waiting for everything to explode. Right now, you just warped to Halo by mistake, get it, trying to escape Reach, and um, the Covenant chased you here, and now you're at Halo, and Halo is a poor runner object, and Covenant is trying to come kill you, so you're abandoning ship. So that's basically everything about this. Oh god, I need to be careful because I thought this guy died. Uh, and we're good. That's the end. Yeah, we beat it. So, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoy it. This is going to be a new series. I'm going to go through all the missions. So, 
be prepared to see those so those will be coming shortly after this one so thank you for watching and see you later